Count 31, welcome to example 6. So example 6, believe it or not, this sequence is geometric. It's just kind of hidden. It doesn't totally look geometric because I'm, I'm comboing it with that summation notation that we talked about in the very first example. So let me try and play this out for you. Let's work this as a summation notation problem. And I want you to see why this is a geometric sequence that I'm adding. All right. So if I start with i equaling 1, I'm not going to crunch any numbers. I'm going to leave them as is so you can see the pattern. If i was 1, this would be 4 times 5 to the first power. Okay. I would add to it this second term in my sequence, which is when i is equal to 2. This would be 4 times 5 squared. Right? And then I would add to it the third term in my sequence the fourth term in my sequence, and I gotta go all the way up to the eighth term. So let me write this out. Okay, now if you don't recognize it as geometric yet, that's not a problem. Let's just start playing this out so we can start to, to see what on earth is going on. All right, so my first term is 4 times 5, right, which is 20, okay? What is my next term? Well, it's 4 times 5 times 5 because this is 5 squared. So this is 4 times 5 squared, right? Or another way of saying it is it's just 20 times 5, right? To get from the first term in my sequence to the second term in my sequence, I needed to multiply by 5. So this would be plus 100, all right? What is this next term? Well, it's four times five cubed. Now, before I hit enter, I want you to think about the pattern, right? To get from 20 to 100, we multiplied by five. Well, to get from 100 to the next term in my sequence, I'm going to multiply by five. So maybe you're starting to hear this as a geometric sequence, right? Every term, to get from one term to the next, I keep multiplying by five. So this would be plus 500, all right? When I multiply this by five again, I'm at 2,500, and these numbers are gonna get pretty large. So we've got 2,500. When I do four times five to the fifth, I'm gonna have 12,500. When we do four times five to the sixth, I'm gonna have 62,500. Let's see, I gotta do another one. I actually have to still do two more. All right, good God, what do we got? 312,500. And last but not least, okay, give me a sec. We have 1,562,500. So 1,562,500. So that's a pretty large number I'm being asked to sum up. And you could add all eight of these numbers together, and that would be fine. But imagine if this said I, instead of I equaling one to eight, what if this said I equaling one to 80? You would not want to calculate all of these numbers and then add them up. So we're going to use our geometric series formula and get this to work. So since I'm adding the first eight terms in my series, I want s of 8, right? That's what I really want to know. And if you remember from the, the formula that we just picked up in example 5, we know s of n is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So because this is a geometric sequence, or at least these numbers are a geometric sequence, but I'm being asked to add them, that's a geometric series, I can apply this formula. Well, we know a bunch of things. We already know a sub 1. It's 20. We already know r, it's five. And we know n also because I wanted eight terms. So let's go play this out. This should be a sub one times one minus r to the eighth power in ratio to one minus r. So if I'm gonna do this, a sub one was 20. All right, my r was five. And then on my denominator, I'm gonna have one minus five. So let's go plug this into our calculator, being really careful with all of these denominators and these grouping symbols. So I'll do 20 times one minus five to the eighth, and I will divide that by in parentheses, one minus five. 
Oh, that is a large number, and it should be large. That is 1,953,120. and 120. So my end answer for this is 1,953,000 and 120. And if we had done this, and, and I actually, I'll go through it, but if I added these eight numbers, it should total out to the same number. All right, so we were gonna do 20 plus, oops, 100 plus 500 plus 2,500 plus 12,500, 62,500, Okay, um, this was 312,500, and then finally, this was 1,562,500. I'm gonna hope I don't have a typo in there. Uh, oh, I didn't, how exciting. All right, so you can see that's the very long way of doing it. Using the geometric series formula, it's much more efficient. All right, so with that, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at example seven and start looking at an employee's starting salary and how she's doing eight years out. All right. I will see you in a few. Thanks so much, gang. Bye.